How's it going everybody and welcome back to another booze review. So in today's episode we have got Captain Morgan sliced apple uh, rum. Now this is only a 25% volume and it was nearly all over the floor. Uh, yeah, this is only a 25% volume um, spirit which is very much like the tea key that they did. Now funnily enough it came with this glass for free which was also offered with the tea key. Now these were on offer for £15 each, uh, the sliced apple bottle and the um, tiki bottles, uh, which obviously 70 cent is the normal Captain Morgan was not and did not include the free glass. So when I saw this, this is a drink I've been wanting to try anyway. I think it's going to be really good. And a free glass. Damn it, they know marketing real good because they chuck a free glass in and I'm all there. Now let's have a quick look at this glass, do a quick unbox. It's like it's a little stein and to be honest, that's a beautiful glass. I am a very big fan of that. This will make some nice cocktails, rum-related cocktails, I reckon, as well. But yeah, that's nice. I like that a lot. So we've also got the other Captain Morgan glass. I know which one's my favourite. Um, obviously, we've got two out because we're going to do it with two mixes, seeing as this is um, not like a proper spirit drink. It's um, more like a fun one. So I feel like this will go really well with two different kinds of uh, mixes. I am swaying towards thinking uh, lemonade will be better, but obviously we're going to try it with lemonade and with cola, not Pepsi. So, obviously, as always, I'm going to try it neat first. And it smells absolutely fantastic. It smells like pure apple. Now, I'm not expecting too much of a burn or anything like that from trying this uh, neat because I'd say it's only a 25% bottle. Um, so it shouldn't be too strong. Oof. Wow. Oof. To be fair, they've done well there with spices. That's really nice. Spiced apple, basically, isn't it? And that is amazing. Oh, serving suggestions. Apple and lemonade. And then a wedge of lime. Should have done that, really. Um... It's nice. I'd say they've gone a bit over the top with the spices. Um, kind of take some of that apple flavour in a way. But, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice, though. It's probably going to be better with a mixer, I reckon. So, we're going to get those poured up right now. Okay, so, here we go, then. So, we have got the Captain Morgan sliced apple and Coke. And then we've got one here with lemonade. Um... So, with rum, I will always try both of these mixes. I know with some, like you've seen with the vodka previously, I only tried it with lemonade. And then the bourbon, in the last episode, which was damn right awful, um, I only tried that with Coke because a neat bourbon. And really, I didn't want the, the flavour enhancing on that one because it was absolutely terrible. So, we're going to try it with the Coke first and see how this goes. You can still taste, it still smell the apple coming through. Which is always good. Mm, that's nice. Just tastes like um, when you buy like your cherry flavored colas and things like that. It just tastes like an apple flavored cola. Uh, all the spices have been um, um, numbed, should we say? They've really they're, they're basically gone. Um, but no, it's pretty nice. I mean, obviously, there is that flavour, the spicy flavour there. Uh, however, it's just very much diluted now. Um, it really lets the apple come through and do its job. Um, yeah, no, very enjoyable. Really nice. Really nice. Right. So now the apple. That smells amazing. That smells really good. Um, it's like the lemon of the lemonade coming through, but... It's bringing that apple with it too. It smells just pure citrusy and it just smells good. Yeah, that takes back to being a kid having apple cordial with uh, lemonade. Mm. Again, the spices are there, but they're not overpowering at all, at all. Um, the apple's coming through really beautifully. 
um, along with the um, the flavour of the rum still, and then the lemonade. It's making it really refreshing, really, really easy to drink. Don't get me wrong, it was nice with the Coke too, but definitely is the best with lemonade. Definitely. And what a glass as well. If the offer is still on, I'm not sure obviously because I'm not being lucky because I already got it. Uh, but it was in Sainsbury's. I would recommend getting it worth every penny. The glass on its own is £5. So £15 for the bottle of rum and then getting the glass with it free. Um, is, yeah, it's a pretty sweet deal. But yeah, Captain Morgan sliced apple. Really nice drink. Is the better out there? Of course there is. Yeah. But uh, value for money? Yeah. £15, it's worth it. Now, like I said, it is only 25%, so it's not going to go as far as a standard bottle of Captain Morgan Wood, which is about 37%. But in terms of the flavour, it's worth worth the uh, reduction in volume because it's it's something that can just be enjoyed. Obviously, if you just want to get drunk and you don't care about flavour, then this isn't for you. If you want to just sit down in the evening or morning if you work nights like me and just enjoy a nice drink, this is the one, yeah, it's it's really pleasant. Uh, like I said, there is better flavoured drinks out there as well. I mean, we've got that bourbon uh, by Jim Beam, the black cherry, that was absolutely stunning, and that didn't cut down on the percentage either. And I would say that was more enjoyable than this. And we've had rums as well that are a lot more enjoyable um, from Dead Man's Fingers and, and um, other breweries as such. So, yeah, but again, it's £15 which all the others, they are not £15. So, like I say, you get what you pay for, and I'd say you get a little bit more with this. But yeah, I hope you found this somewhat useful. Drop me a comment, let me know what you think of this, if you tried this, or even the Tiki one, because I, I have enjoyed them both. I'd say the Tiki one was better, though. Um, and let me know in the comments if you think there's anything else that would be worth me giving a go. Um, and other than that, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Drop me a... Uh, yeah, and subscribe, of course, if you're not already. I'm going to have to have a break now because I've just bulk recorded booze reviews and you can probably tell I'm starting to stumble a bit. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully see you in the next one. Bye-bye.